Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to bypass the lock screen or reset to factory in a Zeus MemoPad 8. Uh, this is the 8 inch version. There's also a 7 inch version. I believe these uh, this unlock method will work on that as well. And uh, this tablet's also known as the Asus Cool Tablet, K-O-O-L. So first thing you wanna do um, when we're trying to reset this to factory, um, this will also, um, I'm also going to show you how to bypass the no command screen. So you'll see the tablet is currently turned on. Um, so the first thing we wanna do is turn the tablet off, press and hold the power button here on the side until this screen comes up. Press the power off button, your tablet will shut down, hit OK. And then we're just going to wait for it to shut down. And then once the tablet is completely shut down, the next thing you want to do is you want to power the tablet on uh, while simultaneously holding the power button and the volume plus button. So you'll notice the volume plus and minus. It's all one big button here. So power and pl volume plus. Press and hold both of those at the same time until we get something on the screen. All right, so now it's turning on. And then the next screen that we're going to see is the, uh, the no command screen. Okay, perfect. So now that we've reached this screen, you can take your hands off the buttons. And then if you look back at the buttons again, what we're going to do to bypass this screen is we're gonna press the volume plus and the power button. Um, and we're just gonna do that real fast. Just press um, both of them one at a time. So we're just gonna kinda of dance on the buttons like this. So plus one, two, and we'll keep doing that until we get some kind of result here. And it'll take quite a few button presses, so don't get discouraged if it doesn't work in the first couple button presses. And here we are. So now you'll see we have a, a screen here. Um, it tells us volume up and down to move and highlight. So you'll press the volume um, plus or minus to scroll up or down. Um, so we're gonna press the minus button and that's gonna scroll down. So we can hit reboot system, apply update, apply update from external storage. Okay, apply update. So what we wanna do is wipe data factory reset. Um, when you do this, bear in mind you're going to lose everything on this tablet. So uh, for me, this was a tablet that we got in an auction lot. So there's no loss to me. But if this is your personal tablet and you have pictures or things like that, you are going to lose everything that's on the tablet. So keep that in mind. Um, obviously, if you have no other solution, um, you might just have to bear that loss. Hopefully, it's nothing too major. So then to select that, you're just going to press the power button. And it's going to confirm. Um, confirm wipe all user data. This cannot be undone. So once this is done, uh, you can't undo it obviously so scroll down to yes hit the power key again and that's going to start the recovery process so this is wiping data erasing and then you'll see it go through its process from there now we've got a screen here Okay, we've got the same options, wiping data, formatting data, formatting cache data, data wipe is complete, as you can see down here where my thumb is. So from here, what we're going to do is reboot system now. So we'll go ahead and hit the power button to just go ahead and do that. And we should see the system start to reboot shortly. All right, now it's turning back on. And if we've done all the steps correctly, 
we should have a fresh tablet, just like new. Bear with me as this thing continues to reboot. And I'm sure this process probably works on quite a few of the ASUS tablets, um, particularly the ones that were made around this time period. And again, this is the Cool Tablet, the ASUS Cool Tablet, or ASUS. Now the re reboot time probably seems a little higher than normal and that's probably because it's uh, resetting the tablet up as a brand new tablet essentially because everything's been wiped from it. All right, awesome. We've got the welcome screen here. So from here, you'll just set it up as a new tablet. Um, select your language, hit the next key, uh, and check your box your settings, use system language, input methods, obviously for me, you English, um, and then you can set it up with your Wi-Fi or mobile network and Wi-Fi. And I'm sure you can follow these steps from here. So I hope you were able to successfully unlock your tablet using this method. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please feel free to drop a comment, ask any questions, and um, hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more videos like this, or if you have other video or other tech solutions that you need help with, feel free to drop a comment or shoot us an email and let us know how we can help you. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day.